Okay, audio check. Shatters audio check. Offliners. The audio is different today, so can you hear me? Our level is good. Offliners, my check. Okay, chatters, chatters. Audio check. Is it good? Is that at a good level? Chatters, someone please, for the love of God, tell me.
Hello. Good morning. Hope everyone is doing well today. Guys, I got a real job. As you can see, I finally got a real job again. Guys, you know, dreaming wasn't working out. Oilers weren't shilling enough. Maybe I was over shilling. So I had to get a job. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna read this up. I, okay. When I made this sweet chatters, if you aren't already, go follow my Twitter. Um, as I was drafting out this tweet this morning, I was like, should I be a political Andy? Because I, <laughs> I said, time to put on the visor again and work an unlivable wage. Fucking political Andy right there. Slight jab at capitalism. Because I finally got a real job. At Baba's Pizzeria. This was my all-time fave cool math game when I was younger. Live at 11. Guys, we're live. Foggy, we're live. Um. <laughs> I just wanted to make a quick jab at capitalism Because it sucks. But. I don't know about this, but. Oh, I saw your redeem Caspian. We'll sing a song in a little bit. Are we live? I'll, I'll be. I'll be. Pizza job. So, chatters. Uh, yes, we also have that new 7TV customer Meg winning because I got a crown in Fog Guys yesterday. Holy fucking shit! So, chatters. Um, if you are on Twitch desktop, download these Google Chrome extensions. You'll see funny haha emotes on Twitch. Oh, yeah, anyway, enough stalling. So, type of one in chat if you've worked a minimum wage job. I feel like most people have. And if you haven't, you should at some point in your life. That way you gain that perspective, okay? Because I worked at a Subway, and then I worked at a pizza clock. We'll call it pizza clock. What does the clock tell you? Or watch? What does the watch tell you? Starts with a T? I worked- No, wait. I didn't work at pizza time. I worked at pizza H asterisk T. <laughs> that no longer is associated with the NFL. Fight them. Now it's Little Caesars. Anyway, so I've I, I worked food service, I'd have to say. It's alright. Like, it's fun if you know what you're doing. Like, making the food, I think, was actually fun. It's just dealing with the customers, absolutely horrible. Dog shit, everybody, for those part, is fucking rude. I mean, the way I kind of see customer service is for every ten people, you have nine nice people or people who are normal, and then you have one fucking weirdo or one person who's just really fucking rude. Otherwise, I think customer service... Not that it isn't that bad, but it's tolerable. But I think you can only handle it for so long. Because I worked in service jobs from 2018 to 2021. So about three years of my life that I slaved away at unlivable wages. Everyone sucks in retail too. Dude, I think I think a job I would be great at is retail, like selling shit. Like if I worked at a shoe store or a purse store or like a... A perfume store? Dude, I would shill so much. You know how much I shill? I shill the ad break every hour and nobody subscribes. So, I'm gonna shill it, I'm just not good with the actual sale. Okay, so today is a bonus sub goal stream, because we hit... I think this sub goal stream was for 100 subs. So we're doing Papa's Pizzeria for a few hours today. Um, also, let's go ahead and get our sub goal up for today. Let's see, we're at 102. Let's put our goal for 110. Also, if we hit our sub goal, then chat can order me a pizza. Guys, we need eight subs. Hashtag sub for free with Prime, and you can contrib contribute towards that goal. Um, if we do hit that sub goal, only the people who gifted or hashtag sub for free with Prime can choose the toppings, okay? I don't want normal ass chatters giving me fucking banana peppers, okay? I'm pretty adventurous with my, with my pizzas, but only so much. So only the oilers can choose my toppings, okay? If anybody oils up... Oh my god! Imagine it works! <laughs> Thank you for that gifted tier 1, Issa. I appreciate that. Guys, we're 7 away now. Oilers in my check, we're 7 away. We have all stream to hit the goal, so if we hit it, that's cool. We get a pizza. If not, next time. Okay. Enough stalling. Let's actually get to fucking work. Uh, was that, there was one more thing I wanted to say. Oh, we gotta sing a song! Okay. Hold. Mute. There we go. Okay, so... I have to find a song to sing now. Thank you once for Caspian for redeeming. Chilling for lunch. I mean, uh, why not, right? So, chatters, if you don't know, you can use your channel points and I will sing a song for chat room. 
There's, I linked a playlist. <gasps> Thank you for the 500 bits, Potato. I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. Okay, the bits doesn't go to the sub goal, though. But if we hit it, then you can choose a topping. I mean, it's working. Yeah, I'll be. I guess find a song. Oh, also, chatter, chatters, while we we're waiting, go subscribe to my YouTube. Go sub to my clips channel. I want to hit monetization this year. And I'm also uploading the um, singing clips to YouTube gradually over this month. So go subscribe. If you subscribe on YouTube, it's hashtag free. <laughs> okay, I got five songs. <clears throat> I kind of want to do Sweet Someone again. What? There's no lyrics? Hold. Bruh, how there's no lyrics for Sweet Someone by Don Ho? Okay, I'm, I'm not stalling. I gotta find the fucking lyrics. Because I was re-watching all of my singing clips, because when I had to upload the YouTube, I basically had to re-watch them, and this song is so pretty. Okay, lyrics? Yeah, Meg Phone Streamer, guys. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? So, if you could politely spam your favorite hype emotes in the chat or your favorite sub emotes, that'd be cool. So, this is Sweet Someone by Don Ho. This feels so weird in the uniform. <laughs> okay. You guys ready? You guys ready? <clears throat> Sweet someone, whoever you may be. Sweet someone, you suit me to a tear. Although you pay no attention. To me at all. One kiss and needless to mention I had to fall How I wonder What's keeping us apart Don't blunder and give away your heart until you whisper I love you and then I'll know be someone that you belong to There we go was that good it's such a pretty song i love it so much okay enough stalling let's actually get to work guys we're late we're late to work we're at 50 minutes uptime we are fucking late to work it's my first day i'm gonna, I'm gonna okay let's actually get started okay chatters also my setup is slightly different today so if stream is weird please tell me it should be fine though Okay, thank you, Chatters. Thank you once again for Caspian for redeeming. I love singing. I haven't sung for chat in like two weeks because Chatters are saving their points like meanies. But thank you. <laughs> You're gonna get fired? No. Not. Nah. Also, um, you might hear my mouse clicking. Sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, also, gentle reminder. If we hit our sub goal today, which is 110, I will order pizza and whoever gifted throughout the stream or cheered bits, you get to choose a topping. Okay, anyway, let's get started. Oh, I- that's not me. Wait, I'm a driver? Oh, he's an opener. E literally, opening is the easiest shift to any fast food. I swear, unless it's like a breakfast place. Time. 
time for another adventure. Run the pizzeria while I'm gone. Papa Louie. <laughs> Got sad use. <laughs> Peace and gutter driver's license. I wish I'm working on it. I'm getting I'm taking my knowledge next week. Okay, now we're actually trying writing. <laughs> I'm licensed to drive in game, in game. I I've heard stories about working in hotels and I've heard good stories and also bad stories. Like I knew somebody who had to clean up actual shit off of a bed one day, so <laughs> Okay, order station, take orders from customers here. Okay, got it. Topping station, top your pizza orders here, Obvi. Make table. Baking station, cook up to four pizzas at once in the oven. Okay, got it. Cutting station, cut pizzas and give them to customers. Okay, easy. Oh, guys, we have a first customer. Welcome in. I didn't hear the doorbell. Take order. Okay, four pepperoni. They want it very undercooked. Oh, that was quick. Okay. Wait, what? I hate the- I hate the ticket function. Why can't I just leave it fucking here? Okay, make pizza. Uh, four pepperoni. Oh, sh Oh, wait, I can't move them! Thank god, thank god, thank god. Okay, we're gonna make perfect pizzas, guys. Perfect pizzas. Anytime I made a pepperoni pizza, they were perfect, but they took longer. You have to buy it with tips? Buy what, your mom? Why do I have to keep putting fucking tickets back? Wait, front counter? I can't go back to front counter. Oh, I gotta watch the time. <laughs> this is so- I hated the oven the most. Wait. Oh, I click- okay, I click on it. He cut into fours? Wait, can I hold shift? Nope, holding shift does not make a straight line- oh, that's bad, that's bad. Why is there no guidelines on the cutting board? That's actual bullshit. They're setting me up for failure. One star! I mean, two dollar tip! Ooh! Okay, why is there no doorbell on the fucking door? Because as I was setting up, um, the game, I immediately got flashbacks of, like, the doorbell ringing. Because, like, the chime of the door... Okay, make pizza. Like, I'm sure anybody who worked any type of service job, you know what your doorbell sounds like, you know? Wait, how many is this? Two, four, six, eight. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Welcome in, hon. Also, I think it's kind of bad. Oh, you can save it for later? Ooh. Wait, hold. Guys, what if we pre-make pizzas? Now we wait. Oh, we're closed. Okay, good. So, chatters, you're, what you guys are going to do today is you guys are going to RP as the customers. Meaning you're going to roleplay as customers. So, you know how it's awkward? Like, see how we're just standing here doing nothing? Like, I think it's nice when you actually talk to people and, like, have a conversation. So, say less. Yeah, guys, you guys are RPing today. Oh, is it burning? <laughs> Shit. Um, oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. It's cooked too much, guys. I cooked it too much. Fuck. Oh, wait, there... There is! Sorry, there's like teeny tiny, like, can you guys see my mouse? There's like teeny tiny, like, grooves on the cutting board. Hold. It's very small. Doesn't know how to make small talk? Guys, it's not that hard. Like, seriously. You don't like talking to customers? It's my favorite part. Because when I used to work at Subway, 77! Okay, wait, I did burn it a little bit. 94? That's an A, right? Gotta check the VIN and see what she's saying. <laughs> yeah, guys, watch the VODs. Ooh, we got $5 in this week. I got $5 for gold. <laughs> You're not gonna leave a tip, bro. That's so mean. You know, I'm making the pizzas. I'm running the store by myself. I mean, I think Mac, you're right. Like, it depends on what type of service job you have. Because when I was working at Subway, like, it's so awkward when you don't talk to them as you're making their sandwich. Okay, olives. Wants it not underbaked like those other two fuckers. Okay. Make table. I bet the 
this game would be super fun to play on mobile, like on an iPad or something. Okay, let's- I want to try something. Bye, Crystal. I want to try and pre-make an eight slice pizza. That's seven, right? Save for later. Wait. Where'd it go? How do we become god mode at reading? Um... Oh, that's not gonna work. Because it's only gonna pull up the pizza I just made. Fuck. Okay. How do I throw it away? Oh, did I fuck up? Oh, no. I think I messed up. <laughs> Wait, how do I... Is there a way for me to, like, throw it away? It oh, there's a guy here. Fuck. There's no way for me to throw it away. Oh, shit. Damn it. Because, like, what, what we would do... Yeah, pray it away. Pray the gay away. <laughs> I'm kidding. Shit! Get out of here. No, I fucked up. Wait, I could have changed the ticket. I could have changed the fucking ticket. That's why you can switch tickets out. I forgot. Shit, shit. Throw away, why? Oh, okay, wait, wait, hold, hold, hold. Oh. Okay, so if the ticket is not queued, then you can throw it away. Got it. Noted. Fuck. God damn it. Wait! Wait. You're not very good at your job? No. Guys, this is my second shift, technically. Just because I have the uniform doesn't mean I know what I'm doing. Okay, well, I just threw away the olive pizza that I could have used for that guy. Fire her? No, I I'm literally- Guys, guys. Oh, there's another one. Why- Okay, why is there literally- Literally no fucking doorbell? Is that a- Like, is that something I have to buy? Okay, anchovies. My kind of guy. I can love anchovies. I'm so, like, annoyed at myself. You know, this is my second shift. I'm learning how to do it. You know, there's a reason why I'm being paid minimum wage. I mean an unlivable wage. Two, four, six, eight. You have to buy it with tips? Fuck! Why am I spending my own money on this goddamn business? I don't see any type of profit sharing. Oh my- <laughs> Close, thank god we're close. Why'd you make the all pizza again? Because I threw it away by accident! You had 11? At least I can take orders quickly, okay? Like, I'm- oh, I'm proficient at writing. There's this guy again. Okay, this one's done. Oh shit. Okay, hold. You have a favorite character? Um, I like the big guy. Because he comes every day and he gives me tips. We, we love the overweight people. <laughs> um... Oh, perfect! Dude, you know the people who ask for their pizzas double cut? And the pieces are like a millimeter in width? That's literally my dad and it fucking annoys me so much because it's literally inedible. <clears throat> the guy who wanted the olive pizzas gone- No, he's there. Because like, it's like your ticket number. When you go out, you, you call out their ticket number. Oh, god damn, it's burnt, it's burnt, it's burnt. I think, out of everything, monitoring the ovens is the hardest. Like, if anybody- Okay, when I worked at the pizza place, and people said, Ooh, you know, I like when my pizza is slightly more burnt, or slightly undercooked. People are like, okay, we can try and do that for you, but we still cook it for the same amount of time. There's no way are we, like, allowed to send out an underbaked pizza, right? And I got a 74 that day. It's because I fucked up the first order. I still got seven bucks, though. Twelve dollars. Rank up, baby! Guys, rank up, rank up! <laughs> you four sausage? Hey, Chatters, what is your favorite pizza? Like, what's your build? I'm a 
a sucker for pineapple on pizza, like seriously. I like savory and sweet combos a lot. Controversial, but... You know, the only thing I don't like about this game is that the toppings are so sparse. Like, if I got a pizza and got four fucking onions on it, I'd be livid. Pasta? I mean, I think it's kind of cool that I can get pasta from, like, Pizza Hut now. I think the pasta is better than the actual pizza. Hey, yo, it's this guy. Pizza's two days in a row. That sounds pretty solid, Mac. Okay, that, I, that's got a bit longer. Yeah, Wally's back. Wait, two, four. I'm not counting them as I'm placing like I should. Into the oven? He's not gonna live longer if he keeps having pizza. Bruh, he looks like he's on the verge of death. So, you know, let him enjoy his life. With pepperoni and chicken and pineapple, that sounds pretty solid. Um, I think this- we're gonna wait. I don't care if that bitch is at- oh, oops. Uh, if that lady, that nice lady is at the front counter. <laughs> oops, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> you know, they can wait. You know, I'm not gonna let my pizzas burn. Don't be mean to Wally. No, a lady walked up to the counter. I'm not calling Wally a bitch. Sorry, I I use bitch in a sexist term. Chatters, I'm sorry. Oh, it's gonna burn. Oh, perfect. Go front counter. Dude, what what are these lame ass pizzas? Do we? Oh shit. Do we charge for toppings or something? Oh, is this guy? He came back. Oh, I think that was very difficult when I was working at the Beats Place because I started working there at the very beginning of pandemic, right? These are both cooked for the same amount of time. Was what we used to do is when somebody got their order, we would open the box and show them the pizza to verify it was correct, right? That was part of the shtick. But after pandemic or during pandemic, we weren't allowed to do that because we had to seal the boxes closed with stickers. So, there were so many more instances of drivers delivering the wrong pizza because they're actually fucking brain dead. Or, <laughs> um, or people give being like the front counter giving people the wrong order because it was labeled improperly. So, that was there were so many like return orders and it was so fucking annoying. Like, that was the one thing I liked about Subway was, um, that since we made the food in front of them, they couldn't come back and bitch and be like, you made it wrong. And it's like, but you told me to make it this way, bitch. Hey, yo, they back. Okay, it's actually getting kind of stressful. Why does Tim have two M's in the name? Because they're special. Their parents wanted them to feel like they're special. Also, do you guys like my cosplay? <laughs> Is it good? It's honestly, it was so easy to make. Because the uniform is just a red collared shirt, which I don't have a collared shirt, Sag. Um, but their logo is just this. It's just an oval with the triangle out of it. So it's really easy, surprisingly. My dad, he doesn't dress up, so he didn't have any like collared shirts, like any nice polos. So this was the closest I could get to it. See, see how he opens the box so they can look at it? What? What was 62? Huh? Oh, wrong one. Okay, I'm, I'm confusing myself. Oh, shit. That's big too long. I knew out of everything, the oven's gonna fuck me up. Shit. <laughs> Guys. There's a reason why I want to be a streamer, okay? There's a reason. What's wrong with the toppings? Oh, I did it on the wrong half. <laughs> Shit. Guys, the brain fog is running heavy today. Only five orders in a day kind of cringe. That's why he's on vacation, so he can get that bankruptcy pay. 
This game be better on murder. Just turn the pizza. Five head. Oh, I did better than yesterday. Topping. Oh, it's because I fucked up on that, guys. <laughs> Oh, really? I didn't know that, Casper. Oh, wait, how many tips did I get? I didn't even check. Okay. Hey, yo, they back. We, we've got to have, like, a rewards program. Why are these people coming here every day? You make table? Okay, so to the very edges, is that it? I mean, wait, now that I think about it, that's how we were instructed on how to decorate pizzas. Like, you always decorate to the edge. I think out of all the pizzas, the most difficult to top were the pepperoni, because you have to place every single one. And I was one of those meticulous people to where I would- I wouldn't place every single topping, like, I wasn't the dumbest. I didn't place every single sausage. Um, but I was still trying, cause like, if you've ever worked in a, any type of food services, there's obviously gonna be workers who don't put as much care or attention into things, which is whatever, it's how it is, but, oh shit. But there were like a lot of people who obviously didn't care about looks, and like, I started, um, at front counter so I had to deal with the customers you don't place it like that I don't know so like people would just like sprinkle on toppings so they would sprinkle on pepperoni so it looked like dog shit oh this one's done oh shit fuck why I think I pulled that one too early god damn I, I hate this why am I working by myself literally why am I working by myself I hate entry-level jobs they overwork their workers too much like I feel like most every workplace during pandemic has like understaffed and worked their current workforce to like their their max I think it's psychotic because let's say a, a typical restaurant needs 30 employees and they were staffed at let's say 20 consistently during pandemic but then they kept only 20 people hired once restrictions start being lifted and stuff. So you're basically saving on your labor costs, but you're overworking your existing workforce. Oh, I think I might have pulled that too early. Wait, wrong one. So, like, there's a reason. Like, I could go back to work if I really wanted to. But it's just not worth the mental strain, in my opinion, right now. Like, I'm in a place where my parents are helping support me. Pulled out too early, well, no. <laughs> so I I'm gonna take advantage of that while I can. No! percent I'm cutting. Oh, fuck. God damn it, there's a line, there's a line. Dude, one of the most stressful things. Emote only mode, okay. Lamau. One of the most stressful things uh, when I was working at Subway was there was a lot of times where it was part of the schedule to where people had to work by themselves. And when you have like two people come in, it gets stressful. But when you have a line of like six people waiting, when you don't make time is like maybe five to six minutes per customer. And like people are getting mad at you. And it's like, bitch, if I had another worker here, I could pop off. But there's a limit to how fast people can work. Like, if I ever have any type of business, I'd always make sure there's at least, at least, two people on stuff at any given time. Just for, like, safety reasons and also productivity. Because you don't want customers waiting. Wait, two, four, six... Okay, these are both... Oh, right here, right here! Dude, what, what homie gets their pizza cuts and floors, am I right? Hey yo, 282. I wonder how much these pizzas cost if they're tipping me that much. I mean, I think three dollars is fine. Um, because whenever I order takeout, I always tip a minimum of five dollars if it's delivery. 
And then if it's like a dine-in or a pickup in person, then I will tip at least 10%. It'll be either $5 or 10%, whichever is more. Like if I see two workers, then I'll do five. Because in my head, I want to give it every worker at least $2. Uh-oh. Wait, hold. My hat's falling apart. Because I, I literally just duct tape these on. That's fine. Saved. Guys, we got a 96. I'm getting better. Am I going to get employed of the month? Maybe. Surely. I'm a cashier, but I'm in the back making pieces. I'm doing literally everything. We got Penny. I think Penny was one of my favorites. Also, chatters, if we hit our sub goal today, I'll order a pizza, and whoever gifts gets to choose the toppings. Oh, back to work. <laughs> Let's see. I love working at Papa's Pizzeria. My all-time favorite. Okay, I don't care. I'm supposed to decorate them. I don't give a shit. Wait. Oh, on this fourth. Yo! Well, that scared me. <laughs> I think Kingsley's one of my favorites. He'd come in- I, I think my favorite Papa's Pizzeria game was the ice cream one. And I loved his order. I don't remember what it was, but... He's one of my favorites. Wait, two, four, six. But, um, the only game I could play, since Flash was discontinued, it's no longer supported. This was the only Papa's game I could play. Ooh. Perfect! Let's actually do this. I, I, I forget what the best workflow is. I think the best thing is to get everything to cut table, and then get pieces in the oven first, instead of serving, because people can wait. I assume we have a warmer, right? Oh my god, okay. So, if anybody's worked food in the past... I'm sure there's been times where you've served food past the expiration date. Not necessarily because you want to, because your supervisor told you to do it, right? Because... I'm not gonna self-report too much, but... I've had supervisors tell me... To, like, serve cut vegetables. Because those are only good for a day or two, depending on what type of vegetable. They would tell me to um, serve it for an extra day. You're like, oh, you can keep it on the line for another day. It looked fine. And it's like, imagine like a supervisor saw like the expiration dates. There was one time, I told this before, because um, I, I, when I was working at the sandwich place that shall not be named, um, There was one time I went in, because I had recently took over managing the store, and there was something on the line that was in the line for a month, when the normal shelf life for even the proteins were like a week max. So it was on the line being served to people for a month. And it's like, bro. It's disgusting. <gasps> oh my god! Thank you for the five gifted! I went to TJ Caspian. Oh my god, Caspian's a chat and popular. Oh my god, regular chatters. Holy shit. Thank you for the five gifted, potato. Did I say Mac? Oopsie. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I meant to say potato, but thank you. I appreciate that, hun. Are we close to the gold chatters? I can't see the sub goal. That's wild. Yeah, you're crazy. But thank you. Okay, six in the back. Back to work! No more distractions, back to work. Let's say two. Six in the oven. That was the last order, right? 108. 
Well, we're close, Chatters. We're close. Two more subs, and then we can order pizza. Guys, two more subs. Check if you have a Prime available. I can use it again? Yeah. That's the glory of being in chat. If you're in chat, you're more likely to receive a gifted, guys. Oh, shit. What? Oh, perfect time. Perfect time. Yeah, Chatters, if you're not so that's totally fine. We do have follower emotes enabled, too. Also, custom third-party ones, so don't feel too left out. Go! Dude, I almost got hundreds on all of them. 97? Guys, I'm cracked now. Fifty bucks in tips for four days is not that bad. How can I buy updates? Is that like a, it's probably rank five, right? Because I need that fucking doorbell. Because I know the days where I was working and our doorbell was broken, literal hell. Literal hell. <gasps> thank you for the gifted sub, Mac. I appreciate that. I'm a Tabski, friend of the show. Thank you. Guys, we're close. One more. One more and I get a pizza. Ah, uh, that's gonna be so bad. Guys, please, if we earn that pizza, please don't give me dog shit toppings, please. Please. I actually have to think about what pizza places- Oh, it's- it's- it's noon, so places are probably open by now. The chatters one more! Can we do it? Into oven? Oh, why- <laughs> It's so scary when they're right at the counter. It feels like you're streaming for longer than 40 minutes. Really? I feel like time has flown by. Like, it's only been 40 minutes? Crazy. <gasps> Thank you for another gifted, Issa. I appreciate that. Oh my god, guys, wait this up. Go wait this up. Can I pause? Pause. Wait, actually, let's get this feed started. <laughs> but thank you, guys. We have the sub goal. Oh my god, you guys are crazy. Okay, now chat gets to order me a pizza. Let's get this pizza in the oven first, and then we can order that pizza. Oh, wait, wait, I gotta wait for this one to cook. There we go. Okay, let's pause here. Mod pizza. I was thinking about mod pizza. Okay, so chatters. We have hit our sub goal, so that means I get a pizza. So anybody who gifted or cheered, so anybody who gifted or cheers, you get to choose one topic. So we had Issa, Mac, and Potato, so you three get to pick my topping. You get to pick one topping each, and then I can add whatever I want. Okay, let's see what's open. I want to do like a local place, but local pizza places are fucking expensive. I've been making bad pizza. Bruh. Have you ever worked out at a pizza place? Okay, let, let's see what's open. I would date mod pizza, mod pizza as a person. Huh? Okay, let's see. There's round table. I've never had. There's pizza time. Wicked pie. Tracks. That's a local. Pizza hut. And mod. You need to know what the toppings are first? Yeah. Um, I'm deciding between mod and then pizza time. I thought pizza time was a local chain, but apparently it's like a... Like, it's still like a chain, but it's in other states. Let's see. I think we'll do mod. I, I think mod has like the craziest toppings. We'll do mod pizza. Mod pizza, I think it's good. I think it's my favorite like chain pizza place. I'm gonna get a pizza then. Nice. Okay, let's see. Wait, am I? Wait, I might be on my sister's account. No, I'm on. Okay, I'm on my account. Because my sister, she has the dash pass. Okay. I just exited out of the app. Hold. Okay, so Oilers, if you gifted or cheered, you guys get to choose one topping from Mod Pizza. Hashtag not sponsored. Um, let's see. Create your own, Avi. Okay, I'm gonna list off the ingredients really quick, okay? I'm choosing the sauce. I don't care what you guys say. I think the sauce is the strongest flavor on any pizza. I'm choosing white sauce, because I'm psychotic. 
And I'll, I'll choose the cheese too. I'll do, let's see. We have Asiago cheddar, gorgonzola, mozzarella, parm, ricotta. I'll do ricotta, Asiago, and then mozzarella. That's always my combo. White sauce? Yeah, white sauce? Solid. Okay, so chatters, oilers, listen. Listen. We have pizza's cursor. Or actually, I'll type them in the chat. That way you guys can actually see them. Okay, no, nobody type in chat. Nobody, nobody type in chat. Because I, I have to write out everything in the... No, guys, nobody type in chat. I need to type out what the toppings are. Guys, nobody type in chat. Nobody type in chat. <laughs> hey. Guys, nobody type in chat. Nobody type in chat. Do I have to put them on screen? Fuck, I should put them on screen. I'm I'm brain dead. You guys are stupid. <laughs> okay, I'll put them on screen. That way the Oilers can see it. Fuck you guys. Okay. What is white sauce? It's like Alfredo. Can you guys see it? You guys can see it on screen, right? You know, we'll do the opposite. Yeah, I was trolling. I was, that was a joke, obviously. Okay, I'm typing out the toppings. <laughs> Tell us to write in chat. <laughs> I mean, ranch isn't that bad. Okay, all the meat options are pretty solid. Okay, so those are the meat options. I'm working on veggies now. What the fuck is arugula? Arugula. Yeah, I agree. Ranch on a pizza does not sound as good. Oh, broccoli? Fuck that. Fuck broccoli. Corn! No, no. I know it's like an Asian thing to put corn on pizza, but, uh, <laughs> no. Oh. I almost put grilled peepers. Jalapenos? Wait, I need to tell you, I need to tell you guys what I actually love. Because you guys are going to give me what I hate. Okay. Chatters. Oilers. Those are your options, okay? Those are your options. Oilers. So Issa, Mac, and Potato. You guys get to choose one topping. Choose one protein each, and then choose one veggie each. Please. Please. Don't make it too crazy. Chicken? Okay. Corn? Okay, chatters. If you were an oiler, put it in the same message. So put protein and then veggie. That way it's easier for me. <clears throat> salami and corn. Okay. Oh. I mean, salami doesn't sound too bad. Okay, right now we're waiting on Issa and potato. Oilers, choose one protein and one veggie. Chicken and mushroom? Okay, thank you, Issa. Issa's a good chatter. Thank you, Issa. I love those two. Hey, potato, you better not fuck me over. Also, any oilers, or if anybody else wants to choose a topping, you can sub here now. Ohio isn't real. I wish. Oh, hi, welcome in, Patch. Congrats on job. Thank you. I think I'll need to order, like, another pizza. Basil and ground beef. Man, chatters are nice today. So honestly, guys, screw Mac. Screw Mac. <laughs> and ground beef. I'm surprised nobody chose pineapple or tomatoes. Okay. I want a topper. Hmm. I'll do pesto on top. Okay, so right now, I have a regular pizza. With white sauce, 
Asiago, mozzarella, grilled chicken, ricotta, ground beef, salami, basil, corn, and mushrooms with pesto on top. I'm going to order another one for my sister for when she gets home. But let's see. What, what will she like? Okay, she's a sucker for garlic. Ooh, gorgonzola cheese? No, she doesn't like corn. Okay, she loves bacon. She likes sausage. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna... I might just eat her pizza. Lamo. Okay, garlic, obvi. And she likes pesto. Oh, I didn't, I didn't choose this one. Okay, I'm getting a pizza for my sister because I'm a good sister. Honestly, the only thing I don't like about mod pizza is their sides are not good. They are not good. Did I? Bro, I got Dash Pass for free. That's sick. Saving seven dollars, baby. Five dollar tip, because no, we're a good person. Hello. Okay, it's ordered. Guys, pizza's on the way. 40 minutes, it'll be here. Fuck you, thank you, Chad. Thank you, guys. We hit our sub goal. Thank you. I get to eat good today. I was honestly... The reason why, or another reason why, you'll still eat this layer. I wanted to do the bonus stream today, and so I could. Because usually Friday is the day that me and my sister like will order out food. Nasty pizza. Eating on stream? Yeah, we'll, we'll try it on stream. Why would I not eat it on stream if you guys chose it? You go. Okay. Before we get back to the game, let's get a new sub goal up. We're at 110. <laughs> if we had another sub goal, I'll, I'll order another pizza. <laughs> Okay, new goal is 120, guys, 120. Oh, if we hit 120, then we... Oh. Then we will play the new Kirby game on stream. That's for 120, guys. Anyway, let's go back to work. You know, enough stalling. Let's go back to work. But thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I, I legitimately didn't think we'd hit the goal today. But thank you. <clears throat> okay. No more dealing dallying. Let's get off our phones. Let's stop watching YouTube in the back room. Back to work. Sometimes it doesn't cut and it's annoying. My Pikachu fell. I heard it. I heard it fall. I need to get better at taking this motherfucker. I think it's- I don't have, like, duct tape to use. Shit. I got it. I'll tape it over the weekend. Okay. Oh, why are there so many people? Pikachu Boozer, you know it. <laughs> I have just enough time to take their order. I'm tempted, guys. Why are there so many fucking orders? Sorry. I, di I didn't mean to yell. I think unpacking... Yeah, unpacking was 110 subs. That'll be next week. Dude, why, why are there so many pizzas? Pizza in 30-40 minutes. Usually mod is pretty quick, though, but DoorDash overestimates. Two, four, six, eight. I hate the ticket function. It's because, oh like, my biggest difficulty because I worked at Subway for years, right before I worked at the pizza place. And when you work at Subway, all of your bills are verbally told to you. So when I was making pizzas, it was so difficult. Like, it took me a oh, it took me a while to um. Get used to like reading off a ticket because when you're getting ver orders read to you it's totally different than having to look up from your like make table to actually look at the ticket 
We're close to Fortnite stream. I know, right, guys? My first ever time playing Fortnite. I'm gonna regret it. I'm gonna be absolute dog shit at Fortnite, though, to be honest. Why is it not cutting? Sorry, I'm yelling. I'm yelling. Last time. Yeah, I think we're doing Switch Sports next week. And then probably the following week is gonna be unpacking. I think. Because I think on my about section this is TBD. To be determined. So many people. Okay, thank God we're closed. We're closed. Closing time is the best time of the day. I'll admit it. We got lots of time in there. Why are people getting plain ass pizzas? Oh, maybe it's for like little kids or like little zoomers who just don't want to eat pizza. Or not not pizza, but veggies. Okay, I don't give a shit if it's cricket. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I have so many pizzas in the oven. Hey yo! Two dollar tip! You don't eat veggies, true. I'll get veggies on my pizza, though. Sometimes. Oh, I missed it! Damn, it's burnt! This is why I don't like the pizza game, because it's reliant on time, but the ice cream game, I can just crank out Sundays. I, I hate- I hate the ovens. <laughs> okay, we'll see you in a bit, Issa. I messed up. I fucked up. It's in sixth. God damn it. And like, I don't mind when people make special requests, but it's honestly so annoying. Like, as when you're working on like make table, when you have to like change your workflow. Like, I totally understand if it's allergy related or if people want it a specific way. But when you got like 50 pizzas in the oven, you can't- It's very easy to miss like a special request of saying, Oh, double cut, or oh, half and half or something, when they didn't actually order it half and half. It's like so fucking frustrating. You know what else is frustrating? Watching ads on Twitch because guys, we're an hour to stream. We're about a week- a week into my new job. So it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads, but you can avoid that ad break by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or if you have an Amazon Prime, you can hashtag sub for free with Prime by linking your Amazon Twitch wait, by linking your Amazon to your Twitch account. So guys, stick around, get some water, get a snack if you need it. We'll see some of you guys in a few. After the ad, we're gonna keep playing, and hopefully we'll try out that pizza that chat ordered. Let's actually check on it. Alright guys, having fun so far, type one in chat. If you're not, then shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, what I was going to say earlier is there th there's this bakery. Because you know how when you order on DoorDash, you can, like, add items in a separate order where you get it in the same delivery? Should I get cupcakes? Should I? <laughs> it's They're so good. I don't need it. I don't. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, fuck it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. But, oh, fuck you. Because, like, they have daily flavors, so you, you kind of have to go every day, right? They have today. They have a banana cupcakes. Shit, do it. Guys, I have two. Should I get cupcakes? Should I get cupcakes? But they're they're literally $4 each. They're not worth. Wait, I just realized these are facing the wrong way, aren't they? This is facing the wrong way. Wait, what? Should I get the cupcakes? I don't. I, I do not need it. I do not need it. I'm already getting pizza today. I'm already cheating. I say no, yeah, I don't need it. These are facing the wrong way, aren't they? This one's facing the wrong way. Oh, it is! Because the pizza fell off. This one. No. 
Okay, it's supposed to be facing this way, isn't it? Okay, I I do not work. I do not wear makeup, so I never look in a mirror. There we go. Now it's right. Okay, back to work. No more. Okay, I got an idiot that day because I fucked up. Your pizza job can't afford four dollar cupcakes. Shut up. You know, minimum wage sucks. Okay, I'm getting decent tips, but I literally can't spend the tips on myself. Okay. It's not my fault. No, legitimately, I don't think I could ever handle a kitchen job again. Because just any any kitchen you work in is gonna be stressful. And like just working around hot ovens or like a stovetop, I, I would literally never do it again. Because it didn't happen when I was working. But on one of my off days, like, the AC went down in the kitchen. And people were like... I mean, nobody had heat struck, but I'm sure people got very close to it. Okay, today, my goal... I'm gonna get a perfect score today. I'm gonna get so many tips. I'm gonna be able to afford those $4 cupcakes. Okay, I was thinking about it, and I think bakeries are a scam. Because if you look at the cost of goods, it's like literally nothing. Like their cost of goods is very low when compared to like other, or I think any food type of job cost of goods is going to be very low. The main thing you're paying for is labor. Why? Because the cost of the raw ingredients is nothing when you buy them in bulk. And like any restaurant or any establishment, the main thing um, owners are paying for is labor. But it's time-consuming, yeah. It's, it's, like, exactly. It's the labor that you're paying for. Not necessarily the actual good. You're speedrunning. Okay, that one's actually horrible. <laughs> like, getting toppings on the crust, like, come- Fuck! Why- Why- There's so many people. There's so many people. You're fine with paying? It's not that consumers should be okay with paying such a premium. It's just um, business owners need to not charge that much. Like, they're doing it, they're making exorbitant amount of profits on it, and it's disgusting. I'm anti capitalist, if you don't know. <laughs> and two mushrooms. It'd be different if, like, em employees actually got paid, like, adequate wages. But you know. You know minimum wage workers, they're not getting paid anything. That's why I told myself, if I ever have a business, I want to have incentive wages. And also... This one's very close. And also... Regular bonuses for people. It's the only fair way to compensate people. <gasps> Star customer! Let's go! Perfect. Oh god, there's so many fucking people. Why so many people? I think my main point is, if you're working minimum wage and you've been with the establishment for a while, then you should see if you can get a wage increase. Like, I'd say at at least the six month mark, I think you're set. Like, don't ever feel scared to ask for a raise. Even if it's- Okay, I was gonna say, even if it's 25 cents, like, it's nothing. And if they offer you just that, honestly, fuck them. But... Don't feel like you're not enough, or not worth a, a better wage. Cause looking back, when I was promoted to management, I should have asked for like a $4 increase. They could afford it. Shit, come on. 
Girl, why do people want undercooked pizzas? You only got a dollar wage increase because everything went up 25 cents? I think a dollar- if you're doing entry level, a dollar is a lot. Like, other companies will not offer their people shit. So, if they just gave you that dollar, gave it to everybody? You're making below minimum? What the fuck? No, like, genuinely, huh? Were you- were you getting income off of tips? I've only worked minimum wage jobs. I've never worked a job to where tips were part of income. Everyone got it? Okay. Hi, Emmy. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well, hon. There we go. Easy clap. <laughs> Have you seen the food videos? It turns out to be slime. Yeah. I think they're funny. I love the debate videos. They're so good. 93? That's an A minus, right? I'm still passing. I think I rank up today. Ooh, $95. Dude, let me unlock the doorbell, please! I hate living like this. I hate working like this. It's been a week. How long is this goddamn vacation? Wait, did he tell us how long you'd be gone? Has anybody ever beat the game? Because the way that Cool Math works is supposedly saves your, um, I guess, data. For your account, if you make an account and log in every time. But I tried that, and it still lost my game save data, and I was upset. Like, little 12-year-old Megan was losing her mind. She give one of your customers slime? I mean, if I had the means to, I would. I mean, Mac, if you want more- if you want raids, ask for it, see what happens. If you have seniority, then just ask. Onion's right side? Fuck! God damn it! <laughs> Shit. Shit. Thank you, potato. <laughs> God damn. That's the one time I'll allow backseating is if I actually fuck up. You know, I can't be missing out on my $2 tip, am I right, guys? But wait, can I just say, Potato's actually paying attention. <laughs> actually tryharding. <laughs> like, Potato's invested. <laughs> yeah, Mac, if you've been there a year, ask for a raise. Do it, honey. I believe in you. Do it. You know, we are on our girl boss slaying arc, okay? Or king arc, I don't know. My childhood is right here. Well, I'm ruining it. <laughs> I'm fucking up these pizzas. Oh, what's the time on that one? Okay, a bit longer, a bit longer. Okay, what's genuinely confusing to me is how I have to make the pizza. That's- that really throws me off. How I have to click the make pizza button. Dude, honestly, Pop was going kind of skimpy with the toppings. Perfect. Oh, this one's done. God damn it. Ah, there's so many people! There's so many people! There's so many! Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I'm freaking out. There's way too many- I'm doing this all- There's so many people waiting. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the line. Dude, this is looking at Subway, like, right before we close, and motherfuckers walking right in. It's- I'm- I'm like, so close to my fucking screen. Okay, that one's done. Dude, these people are waiting hours. They're waiting literally hours for food. 
<laughs> oh my god. I can't do this. I, I, I don't even know what fucking pizzas I've made. Okay, well, look, he's like upset. Wait, what is this one? Okay, it, it, this is it, this is it. This has to be it. Yeah, they're happy, but I don't know about the other guy. Like, I genuinely don't know what pizzas I've made. You keep them past closing time? Dude, shut up. I know, you don't gotta tell me. Hey, yo! Taylor's still happy. You know, I was never the worker to where I'm gonna do a good job just because I want tips. I want to do a good job because I want to do a good job. I feel horrible if I, like, genuinely fuck up an order. Dude, were there any kids who were, like, legitimately good at this game? Oh, that was actually pretty good. I didn't fucking piss her off. Oh, okay, that's it, that's it. We've caught up. I'm gonna speed run, I'm gonna speed run. Oh. Am I colorblind? <laughs> I, need, I need to stop making fucking colorblind jokes. I, I need to stop. Glory by accident because I have the taking cube. A hunt? Bruh! Look at that, three hundreds? Oh my god, am I actually good at the game? Oh, I did it too early! Fuck! Fire me, fire me, fire me! What if I just walk out? Like, I. Okay, I've been seeing so many videos on my TikTok of like workers doing walkouts and it's like pop off. You know, advocate for rights in the workplace. But I don't think I could ever do that. <laughs> Cause like all the workplaces I've worked at, there'd only be like two or three people working. So like if we left, we'd be actually D U D D E D. Cause I think walkouts only really work if a majority of the workplace participates. Ninety two, worse than yesterday, but still passing. Wait, no, and a ninety three is an A and then ninety two is A minus, right? Crack this game? Yep. Oh, I'm at 127. Guys, should I work at a real pizza place? Should we do a... You know what I love? I love when, um... How do you say it? Oh! When I see videos of, like, chefs working in their kitchens, I think it's so cool to see different kitchens and how they're set up. What I want when I have a house, when I become a millionaire and I get my own house, I want to have an industrial kitchen. I want it to have, like, I want to have the ability and the equipment to make, like, food for a lot of people if I need to. Oh, well, she's getting lots of toppings. Six pepperoni, my god. Okay, Chad, pause. Pizza's here. Ah, I'm on a cord. Guys, pizza's here. Hold.
I love how you guys know what to do when I leave. I'm feeling bad. <laughs> it might actually be good. You guys are so cute. <laughs> okay. So, guys. Oh, I just really is. Let's see. Oh, the music doesn't play when I have the game pause. Anyway. Yes, it's pizza time. So, let's see the masterpiece you guys made. It's pizza time. This looks fine, except for the corn. Oh shit. This looks pretty good. I know. Okay, let's see. Oh wait, I didn't get any chicken on it. Fuck. Cause let's see. There's salami. Oh wait, there is chicken. It's just it looked like cheese. Okay. There's mushroom corn, chicken salami. Oh, there's no basil on it. Did somebody choose sausage? Huh? Wait, hold. I'm gonna look at the ticket. I... <laughs> In a haste, I crumpled up the kitchen receipt because I didn't want to leak anything. Okay, ricotta. Yeah, they put the wrong stuff on. God damn it! I mean, it's fine if it doesn't have basil on it, but then... Dash. Is the green stuff the basil? No, it's pesto. Oh, you did choose ground beef? Oh, oh yeah, that was it. Okay, that was it. Then we're gonna put sausage instead of ground beef. It's fine, it's fine. Well, we're missing basil. I mean, that's nothing. That's literally nothing. Maybe somebody else ordered the corn pizza too, maybe. But <laughs> this actually looks pretty good. Minus the corn. But you know, corn is tolerable. They might be out of basil. True. True. That's why, like, I usually don't get too pissed. Or not pissed, but like annoyed. If an order is wrong, because in my head, there's probably, like you said, supply, su supply shortages, or maybe they legitimately forgot. But what's nice about, like, DoorDash, and, like, I assume most every other third-party delivery, is that the delivery service covers the cost. So it doesn't affect the restaurant at all if um, the order is wrong. Okay, it's slightly underbaked. First bite. <laughs> Time to go carry on them. Nah. It's pretty good. I'm usually not too big a fan of salami because I don't like seasoned meat as much. But I literally, I literally can't taste the corn. Chat, good job. You need to focus. Pretty solid. Yeah, I'm gonna. Ooh, wait, you know I said it's undercooked. The top is undercooked, but look, <laughs> look how black that is. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I don't like eating on screen, so hello. I think it's pretty good. Would I order this build again? Probably not. What is my normal build? Uh, how do you cook a pizza like that? I think the way it works is it has a flame at the bottom. And like most pizza ovens, they have a flame and then it has like a conveyor belt. That's why there's patches that are going to be burnt like this. So that's when it gets like direct flame, I guess. It's really crunchy, though, because it's burnt in some parts, but it's still adequate. What I do like about the salami is not as it's not as greasy as pepperoni. That's what I I don't like pepperoni and pizza as much because it's literally way too fucking greasy. And like it would burn our hands sometimes because when it come out of the oven, like the oil would still be popping. So when you're going to, like, cut the pizza, sometimes the oil would splatter. And I didn't like that.
So will I eat this whole pizza? Probably. Not now, though. Not in what's sitting, because I'll be back. Because I need to watch my calories. But this build is pretty good. I'd say 8 out of 10. My build is better. Got white sauce, chicken, sausage, or beef, rather. Salami, corn, mushrooms, and pesto. I think my, my normal build that I get from Mod is I get the impossible sausage. Um, I get bacon, Canadian bacon. Um, ricotta, asiago, mozzarella. I said it's good mushrooms. I like getting spinach. Sometimes get olives. Pineapple. I always get pineapple. No matter the sauce, no matter the combo, I just love it. Because, like, when I... Okay, you know when you eat things, you think of everything as, like, a whole composition? When I eat things, I like being able to, to taste every single individual ingredient. That's why whenever I get a pizza, I load it up with, like, everything. Because I like being able to bite something and be like, oh, I can taste the pineapples and the pepperoni in this bite. And Because I, I don't care about everything as a whole. I like to taste things individually. Does the corn add or subtract to the score? It doesn't add anything. Like, I literally don't taste it. I think it's because the corn is kind of crispy. Like, I'll just take off a piece. This piece, I don't, I don't think it's going to focus. Ooh. This piece, see how it's kind of burnt? So this piece is kind of crispy. So I think, I think this one's good. It doesn't add much because the reason why I don't like corn personally is because I don't like biting into it and it's juicy. I don't like that. I like fruit that's juicy, but I don't like veggies that are juicy. That's why I don't like cone. But when it's baked like this, it's not juicy. It's kind of dried out a little bit. So it's pretty soft. I should have man pizza more. Because it's surprisingly pretty good. I'm gonna have to explain to my mom when she gets home from the show, from the store because she went out for lunch today with her friends. Like I'm gonna have to explain to her why there's two pizza boxes in the fridge now. That's gonna be a dilemma because my mom is always like, "Why are you eating out all the time?" And I'm like, "Cause I don't want to cook." And she's like, "But you know how to cook." I'm like, "Yeah, but I don't want to." No, uh. -uh. Okay, I'll eat. I'll eat more later. Because I had a small breakfast today, but I'm going to put this in the fridge for now. Okay. I dropped some corn. Why you have a corn pizza? Because wasn't it fucking you, Mac, who ordered, like, the thing I don't like? Okay, anyway. Thank you, guys. You guys got me a pizza. Thank you. Thank you for joining me to lunch today, chat. Okay, I'm going to go put it back in the fridge for now. Corn on pizza is pretty all right. You think it's going to be bad, but it's honestly not that bad. It tastes a lot Cheese and corn? Is that why people don't like it? I know some people won't get toppings on pizza because they don't like it with cheese. Is that one of them? Yeah, I need... My hands are sticky. To sanitize my hands so I don't get sticky keyboard.
Because on my sister's pizza, she had whole roasted cloves of garlic, and I snuck one of them. And now all I can taste is garlic. Does not taste, not, not that it tastes bad, but I just don't want to be tasting garlic all day now. Okay, once again, thank you guys. Thank you once again to Issa, Potato, and Mac for helping me get a pizza. Thank you. Okay. Chatters. If we hit 120, I'll get another one. <laughs> no, I, let me fix that real quick. <laughs> Would that be crazy? They probably think I'm pranking them. Okay, back to work. No more dilly dang. We took our obligated lunch break. Now let's get back to it. Where were we? <laughs> more pizza? I don't think. Because, like, you know the cliche of, like, the teenagers ordering, like, five pizzas and then canceling? We didn't have that issue too much because during pandemic, um... It was basically required for people to prepay. Like, not a lot of people use cash because there was a month where we didn't take any cash transactions unless they were in person. So that was pretty cool. So we got a lot less prank calls. I think one of the biggest, like, anxieties I had was um, on, like, April Fool's because that's when you expect to get a lot of prank orders, but surprisingly, we didn't get any. Imagine humanity has changed for the better. Who knew? Oh, why is there another one? Are we gonna wait? <laughs> Man, these people are gonna be waiting all day. Maybe, maybe the way that this pizza place works is that we're only open from like 5 to 10. So maybe people are only waiting like 5 minutes. Wait, I, I forgot what I've made. Oh, right here. I haven't made this. Oh, sorry, one. People seriously playing pizza places occasionally, yeah. And by prank, it's usually the people who don't prepay. And like the people who pay cash for deliveries, you also don't know if they're gonna like rob the driver. Like we haven't had that happen at my time working there, but there's been cases where people will try and like rob the driver because obviously, um. Chatters, do not consider this as an idea to do so. Do not ever attempt to burglary somebody. That's that's bad. Do not do that shit. Um, because the drivers, they have to carry change. That way, if, if people don't pay exact cash, then they can give change. Um, so there's been a few attempts within the company, not at our location, of people trying to like rob the driver. That's why drivers at our store, they only carry $20. And anytime they um, had more than $20, they had- OH MY FUCKING GOD! They had to deposit the money into the safe and stuff. So it's- it's very dangerous, like the drivers are definitely the people who are at the most risk. But there are procedures in place to avoid those confrontations for the most part. Let's make the line longer. No, we're closed. Motherfucker, you see the closed sign out front? We're closed. Uh, one of the most annoying things is that when you can obviously tell that a worker is closing up for the day, or when they're walking up to the door to fucking lock the door, and there's homies that are waiting outside, it's like, bruh. Or like when people like bang on the door or the window after you lock the door, and it's like, homie, you legitimately think we're gonna unlock the door just for you when you're maybe gonna spend ten dollars? Like, is that really worth our time? No, it's not. You silly. This one's almost done. Some people are so entitled. I think that was the thing I hated the most about working in service. I was thinking about it, and the whole um, concept of Subway is that you get to boss the work around. Like, isn't that such like a power dynamic? So I was thinking about it, I was like, why are people like so like shitty with me whenever I'm making their goddamn sandwiches? And it's like, oh, 
is because they want to feel like dictators and boss me around for like five minutes. Hmm. Yeah, once it's closing time, nobody. Because, like, another issue that we had was people who are so entitled to think that, oh, why can't you just ring up my one order? Smiley face. Fuck, it's late. I burnt this pizza. Um, it's like we have to close our till by X amount of time, or like our superiors or like corporate will get mad. Because if they see that you're too open and your sales don't justify that you're open for an extra 20 minutes when you only sold one ticket then your productivity is not high enough to justify being open for that extra 20 minutes, so then you get yelled at. Like, customers, if you've never worked the job, you don't understand everything to its full extent. And it's annoying. So, TLDR, TLDR chatters, if you haven't worked a service job, and probably won't, just be nice to them. It's legitimately not that hard to be nice to people. Man, 56 wait time? Shit. Maybe I should get fired. I think on our last shift of the day, we need to, like, actually do horrible. Ooh, nine dollars! Look at that! do like a, an adequate job they still tip me good so I think it's their fault do I do I need to like even do a good job can I just submit like subpar work and like still get good tips I know if you absolutely fail you get no tips but I haven't done that in a while 89 that's worse than yesterday but I also had more customers so $31 holy shit Damn! Boom, a pizza topper. You know what? I am so good at holding myself back from saying jokes. I mean, they're not even jokes, they're just vulg- they're vulgarity. <laughs> Chatters, you do not understand how difficult it is for me to not be edgy on stream. It is incredibly difficult. You guys do not even know. Oh, or like the bitches who will intentionally dine in with five minutes before close time. I hate those motherfuckers. And like, of course, you'd be like, oh yeah, of course you can sit down and eat. It's fine. But you have to be out like 15 minutes after I close the till. It's frustrating. Oh, this one's almost done. Be like, oh, I don't want to be fun, but can I dine in? Like, bitch. Of course you're gonna bother me. We dine in right now. Oh, wait, chatters good. Wait, hold. My cam's gone. I I heard the did up. Because now that I have actually have headsets on, I can hear. There we go, saved. Your cam's gone, thank you. <laughs> Where'd she go? <laughs> I fixed it quick enough to where you guys couldn't even tell. I'm back. You could not have worded that, worded that any better. Exactly. It's about respecting the worker's time along with- Oh, God. Along with, like, the customer's time, right? 
Exactly. Preach. Way too base, Mac. That's literally what it is. It's about mutual respect. Wait, which one is this? Oh, this one's burnt. This one's burnt! <laughs> no streamer pog. <laughs> Guys, should I do no face cam? Should that be the new normal? Thoughts? Oh, there's another one! Okay. I mean, I don't think... Because you know how I did the cookie decorating stream last week? I don't think I could ever... Um... Do a no cam stream again. Like it was it felt so awkward. Cause I think the fun of streaming is being able to see the person's reaction in real time. So it felt so weird. Oh wait, I didn't make this one yet. Oh. I agree, it was weird not seeing me, huh? Because, like, it was funny, because during that cookie decorating stream, I was still making faces. Like, I was still, like, being extra. Why are there so many people? Like, legitimately. Okay, I figured out a system. If I haven't made the pizzas, I'll move the ticket. Like, I'll leave an empty space in between. That way I can distinguish which ones, which ones I've made and which ones I haven't. Oh, that one's burnt? <laughs> um, ay dio mio. And no puedo hacerlo. It's difícil. Ay dio mio. Why? Por qué? Wait! I threw it away. What? How? What? What the fuck? How did I throw it away? You were just a voice? Yeah, it was weird, huh? Oh, I, I clicked save for later. Okay. I was like, huh? I mean, if we're ever gonna do arc streams like that in the vein where, like, I want to have an HD camera, they're gonna have to be no cam. Cause, when I'm, Cause, like, you guys like the HD on that stream, right? It was so nice. I'm not gonna lie. There's no way I would have decorated cookies with my plain HD. Is it an ultra HD camera? What? What? Oh no, I gave him the wrong pizza, didn't I? Hit. Can I just be fired? Like, can can they just fire me? Already messed up, already fucked up. Oh no! Oh no. Can, can I just be fired? Why don't you just switch that camera? Um, because I could have. Looking back, I could have. But ah, uh, because the focus isn't as good on the second camera. Because the second camera is the one we use for calligraphy. It's not going to be as clear. So even if it is small, it won't be as clear. So it would have looked like a shitty face cam. And in my head, when I was creating the overlay, because I tested it, I was going to use, like, the second camera for face cam. But it just didn't look as good. You can just leave the owners in here, you wreck. He comes back from vacation, and there's rats in the store, because I intentionally left food out overnight. I mean, what's the worst they could do? Could they- Okay. I was thinking about this the other day. Like, what can your employer do if you choose to not do your job? Like, what's the most they can do? Write you up? Sure, but that only stays when the company fire you. Yeah, I guess. But... If you can always get another job, it's fine. I mean, not saying you should try and get fired. <laughs> um... But it's like, it's not like they can arrest you. Unless you actually steal shit. Bro, story time. One of my old managers, she was kind of crazy. And when she was fired from management, um, 
We had to change the keys because she refused to turn her copy of the store key in. And thankfully, we changed the keys in time. We were, we were able to change the store keys like two days after she got fired. And on the third day after she got fired, she tried to get into the store at like 10 p.m. But she couldn't get in because we changed the locks. And it's like, holy shit, what was she going to do, right? Like, oh my god, it's crazy. I feel like management have to be like the craziest people. Yeah, it was scary because um, the safe codes were still the same. So she, we didn't know if she was going to like like tear up the blades. We didn't know if she was going to steal. Like, it was bad. It was bad. So thank God we changed the fucking store keys. Like, some people crazy. Day 11. Look at me. I'm so sad. <laughs> Dude, I'm like here all day from open to close. The, what? Okay, so in the last few months of at my job, I was literally doing opening close shifts. It was horrible because we were so fucking understaffed and like I wasn't allowed to hire more people because the productivity didn't allow for more people to be hired. But it's like, bitch, you try and work by yourself for 10 hours a day. Not, I'm not full, not a full 10 hours, but it was a total of 10 hours most of the time. Well, she wants it burnt. Or not burnt, but more cooked. I don't think Papa would notice if you took some dough. I mean, it doesn't seem like his register is too advanced, if you know what I mean. Like, you know the POS systems where um, they don't scan items, they just type in manually the price of the item? I don't like that, because it seems like bookkeeping has got to be hell. Also, it's probably harder to monitor inventory as well. What are some basic things you need to stream besides equipment? Um, a personality. <laughs> um, good internet, obby. Oh, shit, another one. Um, I think you have to have the motivation to do it. Like, there's a reason why a lot of people quit. Um, it's because a lot of people feel like they need success instantly. But if one starts to stream, they must be in it for the long haul. I think the biggest thing is you have to be entertaining to a capacity. Like, you can't expect people- oh shit. You can't expect people to love you immediately. Oh, this one's burnt. God fuck me. Like, you have to be willing to put the work into it. Like I said, you can't expect people to love you immediately. Like, you have to gain people's, I guess, trust in order for them to like you more over time. This one's done. Bro, this- this bitch is getting a dark-ass pizza. Okay, that- that darker one looked kind of good, not gonna- not gonna lie. When you don't have a personality? I don't either. Um, the biggest factor, I think, in having a good stream is your chat room. But it's hard- OH MY GOD! OH MY FUCKING oh GOD! <laughs> Because if you don't have a good chat, then you don't have a good stream. But also, in turn, when you're just starting a streaming, you don't have a chat. So... You have to build... You have to treat your core people well, that way they keep coming back. And then from there, people will gradually come over time. That's, wh that's why, like, I'm not too concerned with viewership. Like, I don't... I'm not too... Oh my god! I'm not too critical of myself if I don't have, like, good numbers or if, like, my income isn't my my target. Which I've been hitting my viewer and income target goals for the past four months, so I'm doing good. But I know that's not going to be a forever thing. So as long as you do it for the right reasons and you want to have a creative outlet and you want to, like, have and build connections with people, i.e. your chat room or your viewers... That's the biggest thing that people have to work on and understand. Because so many people stream because they want to make money, but that's not what it should be. Yeah, peace out to hmm. Why, Mac, are you gonna stream again? That'd be pretty poggy. I mean, I don't know what you're like, but... It's definitely fun to pass some time. Because if I didn't stream, I'd be like inside all day doing dog shit nothing. Okay, back to work. I'm just... 
Isn't this fun? We get to talk about stuff as I make pizzas. Isn't this cool? Okay, I'm running out of ticket space. <laughs> this is not good. I'm not gonna lie. I think another thing is you have to be able to keep talking. Because I... Watching my... Oh, there's way too many pizzas in here. Um... Shit, I'm lost. Okay, this one's done. This one's done. That one's done. Um... Like, watching my older streams, I didn't talk as much. I wasn't as engaging. And... Well, that one's done. That one's done. There's a reason why I was a Z of Remedy for months. No! Fuck, I, I did the wrong one. Shit. I, I think the only thing I fucked up on this one was the timing. Okay, I think all my tickets are in order now. Oh, we're closed! Thank God! You wanted to do content creation for years? I mean, if you're gonna do it, you should get started. But only do it if you can fully commit to it. Um, I hate hearing the people post, but oh, I'm in college, I have a job, and I have a kid. Why was that so bad? Uh, anyway, whatever. Or they're like, you know, I'm in college, I have a kid, I have a job, I have a family, but I want to stream too. It's like, honey, calm down. I understand you want to pursue your passion, but, you know, you shouldn't do it for the taxing of your mental health. Because if you push yourself too far, you're, you're going to fail in one area. That's why, if Megan has to get a real job, she'd have to stop streaming, basically. Big Sag. Because I'm not gonna stress myself out to the brink of having a breakdown every day, you know? But hopefully I can have a career in which... Is, you're missing two mushrooms? Fuck off. You know what, you're not, you're not the one eating here, okay? You're not the one ordering the pizzas. <laughs> I mean, that's my controversial opinion. Only pursue your passions if you can handle it. And like, I know I'm not the best either. Like, I'm not this fantastic person. I'm not this super creative individual. Like, not to self-deprecate, but I'm mid. Like, I'm a normie. Like, I don't have any fantastic plans for content creation because I don't have the funding to do so. So, it's hard to start up if you don't have, like, a shtick or something that makes you stand out for everybody. That's why the people who do collab streams pop off very early on. Because they're able to attach them to other people's audiences and garner viewership from that. Where do you have a breakdown every day? What's about another one? I know, right? Let's make it two. Two for one, baby. 85 fuck. I mean, frick. Okay, I'm actually having fun with this game. I'm not gonna lie. We're nearly two hours in stream and I'm not bored yet. I think it's because I like repetitive mechanics in game. I think we'll do two weeks. We'll do two weeks, guys. But I think streaming is the best form of content you can make that is where you can be a normie. Because people like just hanging out. They like chilling with you. They like having somebody to pass time with, so... I think it's the easiest form of creation to get into. But it's also the most time-consuming, typically. I think the hardest thing is with streaming, it's very difficult to get people to watch initially. Especially, you'll hear all the time, the discoverability on Twitch is dog shit. And it's like, yeah, it kind of is. Because you know why it's dog shit? It's because not a lot of users want to watch new people. They're always going to watch the people that they already have an established audience or they already watch. 
so it's hard to get people who don't know you to watch. The easiest way, everybody says it, is to post on other platforms. That's the- oh my god! That's the only way. Because it's a lot easier for somebody to sit and watch a 10 minute YouTube video or a 2 minute TikTok than sit down and watch 30 minutes of a stream. Because streaming is a lot of dead air for the most part. Oh, fuck, there's so many fucking people. And where are those people? Yeah. I don't watch a lot of small streamers anymore for that reason because it feels like a commitment almost. Because with small streamers- Oh, fuck. Dude, this one's burnt! No. Like, once you type in a chat room, you feel like you're obligated to come back. Inherently. Like, not explicitly, but it- Fuck. Dude, this run is bad. This is a bad run. That's why I don't type in chats a lot anymore. And I feel bad, but... You're not too big on sitting, sitting down and recording videos? Um, I kind of feel that, but I think editing is fun. This is a really bad run. This is really bad. I'm gonna get no tips today, guys. I'm gonna have to panhandle. Like, I know I'm saying a lot of the negatives concerning streaming, but it's still been a really positive influence on my life. In the sense of, I've met some nice people, my chat room is really nice. It just takes time. And I think I've grown at a decent pace in the past year. Cause you'll hear so many stories of people being like, ooh, Oh shit! What the fuck? Wait. What? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, I have to keep the ticket there. Oh, shit. Burnt. Of, like, people who will stream for three years to zero viewers. But it's because they're not utilizing all the methods they could to grow. And then they bitch about it, and it's like, well, it's your fault, technically. <laughs> Where did the pizza go? I know, right? You never know what games to stream, just- it has to be games you like, don't- Okay, I know people say like, ooh, the meta is this, so you have to play this game, but... You just have to genuinely enjoy what you're doing on stream. Cause... You have to... Understand... Okay, hey, hold. Okay, that one's done. That you have to do streaming because you enjoy it, not because you want people to watch, essentially. <laughs> you like sports game, but it's full of toxic men. You gotta find your girlies! Tap one in chat if you're a girly. <laughs> uh, I think the best way to avoid toxic men in your chat room is to grill them when they actually pop off. Okay, what is this one? Okay, I'm gonna wait. Like, the reason why I got a lot of envies and girlies in here is, is because I don't condone that behavior. I don't think I made this one yet. Like, you have to make sure you have your people in chat room feel safe in the sense of... You don't let anybody be weird. Oh god! Guys, I- I don't think I'm fit for this job. I- I don't know if I can make it to two weeks. I don't know if I can do it. I- I might just quit right now. I might as well just walk out. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do one day, and I'm gonna make everybody fucking mad. Let's do that. We're gonna make everybody pop off. Oh. Not yet. Tomorrow. Tomorrow! My last shift, I'm gonna make every pizza incredibly wrong. I'm gonna underbake them all. I'm gonna burn them all. Burn it to the ground! What? Was it really that bad? No way. Wally's just a picky little bitch. Imagine they fire you that- yeah, they go crazy. Fire their one worker? I mean, one worker is better than none in their eyes, so I don't think they give a shit. 
So basically you're gonna play like you are now? That wasn't very nice. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I'm trying my best. This is my first time in the workforce for nearly a year and a half. So I'm getting used to it. You know, look at that! That was a good tip. I got fired on stream. I mean, wouldn't that title go crazy? I think that title would do better than I finally got a job. I'm not gonna lie. What? Oh, it's because I burnt it. <laughs> Guys, I, I'm at the point... Oh, what was it? I think Asana's reacting to this article yesterday. And it was talking about how millennials are soft witting or something like that. What? What did I do wrong there? Legitimately. Oh. Shit, I gave- I, I gave him the wrong pizza again. Oh no. Okay, well, I'm gonna make another guy upset. Shit. Well, ba basically the concept is, um... <laughs> people who- <laughs> um, people will like have a job, but then they don't give a hundred percent anymore. Oh, dude, I fucked up three orders. God damn it. Don't look at me. Don't get, don't look at me. Yes, I gave t Tim two wrong pizzas this week. Oh, he still tipped me though. But, I've always wanted to give my 100% for any job that I have, but if I'm not being compensated adequately, I'm not gonna do that shit anymore. Like, I was the bitch, working front counter, shilling surveys, shilling up sales when I didn't have to. But, okay, so at my pizza job, um, they hadn't gotten a positive survey for literally, like, a month or two before I started working there. But, okay, Chatters, we'll do one more dare. But before that, guys, we're in another hour in stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. You can avoid the ad break by subscribing for just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing month all month long, or you can link your Amazon to your Twitch account, and get a free, or and then you can hashtag sub for free with Prime chatters. So sub with Prime. Anyway, after the break, we'll do one more game just to screw around, and then we'll do thanking subs so get some more get a snack. And what was the story I was saying? Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Yeah, it's evil time, guys. It's peace I do evil smile time. Uh, what was I gonna say? What was I saying? Oh, so, okay. I'll start over. So, basically, a month before I started working there, like, a month or two, they hadn't gotten any, like, literally no positive survey reviews. But then once I started working front counter, like, I was super nice, I was super good. And I'd be like, hey, if you enjoy the food or if you enjoyed my service, fill out that survey and put my name in the description. Because that's what I was trained to do when I worked at the Subway. So when I worked at the Pete's Place, I just, I naturally had that tight, tight, like, conversation flow and cadence. Um, and then so, a month after I started working there, they got so many positive reviews and surveys. Oh my god. They got like, five. Just from me in a month. And the corporate was like, oh my god, who's this Megan person? And I was like, me, bitch. Because I'm actually doing a good job. And like, corporate was like, oh my god, Megan's pretty cool. But it didn't show up in Sword All because nobody gives a shit. Because in my head, if the stores, if I succeed, the store succeeds. I've always grown up with that mentality. But a lot of people don't think that way. Yeah, I ha- Wait, I'm doing bad pizzas today! I forgot, we're- We're doing bad pizzas, right? Empty them and screw it. Stan Megan for clear skin? What? <laughs> my skin is actually pretty clear right now. I've started washing my face again with like facial washes and scrubs, so I'm actually doing good. But thank you! But I- I know that's just a phrase, but I'm trolling. Okay, we're doing bad- wait. 
We're gonna put smiley faces on all the faces now. Dude, we're gonna underbake them all. That way everybody gets a raw ass pizza. I love this run. Be nice to Tim, he's special. Should we be nice to Tim? We did kind of screw him over the past few days, huh? I think it's too late. I might have taken out his pizza too early. Okay, well... Let's make a nice pizza for Tim, because, you know, we've been really mean to him. We're going to make a perfect pizza for Tim. Oh, and another thing that workers would do, like on Make Table, they would intentionally give people, like, extra toppings. And they'd be like, oh, it's because, you know, people like extra toppings. But it's like, honey, we need to think about food costs and also... That's not how some people operate. Like, don't be stealing from the company. I hate the people over portion. Like, there's a reason why there's portion scoops. It's annoying as fuck when people don't follow them. Because when you're in management, you have to worry about, like, food costs. Yeah, Mac, are you gonna spend your points on anything or are you still saving? Okay, I'm trying to get another ear shape. Oh, there we go. We got little ears. Okay, we gotta make sure Tim's pizza is perfect. There we go, perfect. You're saving. <laughs> This can be like. Those don't really look like eyebrows though. And show your brows? Be angry. Almost. We're gonna make sure it's perfect. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait till it's at the perfect heat. Okay, let's go back to make table. Oh my god, the nose! I can't, I can't, I can't. Wait, we wait, we have to serve Tim. We have to make sure we serve Tim before he gets restless. <laughs> Dude, I served you pretty quickly though. Okay, now everybody be quiet. Tim, I have wronged you, but I'm here to make it right. What? It was literally perfect, wasn't it? Bruh. I don't like Tim anymore. Let's make another smiley pizza. Okay, I don't like those eyes. It looks like a little dog face. Hi, Vic. Welcome in. You didn't know I was live. You have notifications turned on? Hi, welcome in, hon. It happens. Look at him. It's so cute. What's going on? I don't think I need to add anything to this one. This one's pretty solid. Oh. <laughs> Wait, we're going to make this one burnt. We're going to burn it. Let's do another one. You missed the note of damn. I mean, it's okay. Bob will be up. I appreciate you being here, though. Yeah, I don't know what shape I'm trying to make here.
Oh yeah, chat did buy me a pizza today. So thank you, chatters. Oh, um, also potato. Since you gifted a total of five subs by the end of the month, you do, you are eligible to get that custom portrait sketch card made for you on stream. So if you want that, DM me on Twitter. Cause I think, I don't think you got it last month. So make sure you get it this month, huh? Oh, I don't like that burnt pizza. I don't like that. How exactly do you brand yourself? Um, there's some default ones you can buy. But I don't think brand, like visuals and aesthetics literally don't matter. Like, focus on your actual personality more so than anything. <laughs> They're so mad. Okay, we're, we're not cutting this bad boy. It's way too cute. We cannot destroy him. What's her Rita? My mom has a friend named Rita and she looks exactly like her. Kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Oh, am I out of pizzas? Oh wait, they're burning. <laughs> okay, these are kind of cute, to be honest. Am I gonna get fired? This one looks like Pikachu. Mom, Marty, it's cool, huh? It's cool. This is fun. Oh, Mindy's been here all day. Damn. It's not my fault. Ooh, a 24%? That's failing, guys. I, I think I'm getting fired today. Wait, my, my uniform is falling off. Hold. Hold. I'm a mess. Okay. I think that concludes Papa's Pizzeria. I worked for not even two weeks. And I blew my fuse. I cracked. I couldn't handle it. Too stressful. Honestly, making the actual pizza was fun. But the ovens, the ovens, oh my god, like having to monitor the different times in which they had to be baked by. Difficile. I don't think I can handle that shit. Like, there's a reason why we don't do special repress at work or like any type of food service typically. Like, when people try to customize stuff, it ruins the workflow. But that was fun. You guys have fun? I thought it was fun. I, I don't think I'll play this game again, but... If I do play, I might play it offline. I don't know. It's just like instant nostalgia. It's so fun. <sighs> this, honestly, this visor and the headsets are giving me a headache. It's like too much on my head. It's like, it's one of those things where it's like, it's, I don't feel oversensitized, but it's like too much, like, everything feels like it's pressing on my head. That was the thing I hated about, like, any service job I had was that every single job had some type of hat or a visor. And it's like, it's too much on your head. Like, it'd be different if this had like some type of, I guess, food safety thing. Like, wearing a hairnet, I think it's fine. But wearing a visor, it doesn't do much. Like, I think the only thing it can do is it kind of shields your face a little bit. I think the reason why they have everyone wear a uniform for entry-level jobs is that you feel... <laughs> you feel like... You feel less individualized when you're all wearing the same thing, you know what I mean? Anyway. Why am I getting so, like, deep today? Fucking... Rapidalism, am I right? <laughs> be so bad having to wear a hat. Yeah, it's way too hot. Like... There'd be some days where I wouldn't wear my hat, but then my manager would bitch at me, and I'd be like, valid. But it's, like, way too hot sometimes. Like, even now, it's way too hot. I can't imagine working in the kitchens again and like by the ovens and having to wear a fucking hat all day. And also, think about it, think about it. You have like three work shirts, for example, right? But how many hats do you have? Usually one, so think, how gross is your hat? Like when you sweat all day in it, 
and then you don't clean it and they're also kind of hard to clean like usually like i would spray mine with alcohol like every night that way like it would just clean the germs but they usually can't go through your wash and dryer because like these are like cardboard insides usually or some, some are plastic but work uniforms are disgusting like always request to see if you can get extras you know what i hated some of my supervisors they would make me pay to buy extra shirts when they had extras and it's like why should i have to pay why why should i not get like a full week's worth of uniform supplied to me like nobody be doing laundry every day you know it's annoying i don't, I don't get it there's, there's so much shit Hopefully, please, guys, please. I do not want to work service again. I would lose my fucking mind. I would lose my mind. You need to buy your own green shirts. This is fucking bullshit. Like, I don't, I don't get it. There's so many things. There's so many things. Like, it requires so much like reform, whether it be an infrastructure policy to change all these issues. But it'll never happen because the way that our society is, it'll never prioritize individuals over companies and it sucks it sucks you know what i want to be the good that changes that though like if i ever have the opportunity if i ever have money or if i ever become like a business owner i want to become that good i don't know it's something that i think about a lot because you can't change society at a national level but you can change it in your community you can change it in your immediate circle like, you can always advocate for policies of change, but if you don't do it yourself, then you're- If you don't do it yourself when you have the means to do so, then you're part of the problem. I don't know. Okay, enough rambling, guys. We're not gonna end stream just yet, because we did get a handful of Oilers today once again. Thank you, chatters. Thank you. Um, let's get some music on for you guys. Then we can set up calligraphy. I don't know what this is from, but it's pretty good. Very insightful. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm an actual five head. <laughs> I think a lot of things come down to lacking perspective, but you can always change your opinions once you gain that perspective. Whether it be like you live through something, or you hear and actually comprehend people's lived experiences. Okay, Chatter, so right now what we're doing, if you sub, cheer, gift, or donate, I'll write your name. I'll keep and such. Or you can use your channel points to do it for free. Once again, thank you guys for the bonus stream. Today was fun. It was fun goofing and gaffing, telling stories about work. You know, that's always a fun time. Oh, <laughs> matcha camera. There we go. Saved. Oh, I have to change the leaderboard to daily because we got several. Hold. What is this song? It sounds kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, for sure, Mac. Don't ever feel like... Chatters. Everybody, everybody. Don't ever feel like scared to ask questions and such. Like, I'm very transparent about things. I'm very transparent about streaming, income, and that type of thing. So don't ever feel scared to ask questions, especially when we have this opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one interactions. Don't ever feel scared. Oh my god, finally taking the headsets off? Holy shit. Okay. Ginger Myers, so chatters. You can sub to your gift and I'll write your name, or use your channel points and I'll do it for free. Oh, hi, folks. Welcome in, hun. 
I'm taking the hat off. I'm taking it out. I also need to make it. It was fun. Got to goof and gaff with chat. It was a good time. Don't worry about missing stream. You know, we all got lives. Can't be inside all day, right? It's just the overall quality of the stuff you put out. Dude, that's something I'm battling with. Because I feel like streaming is only fulfilling if other people enjoy it. But it's very validating to know that we have chatters who are here like every day or occasionally and they still enjoy the stream. They still enjoy the content. So that to me is enough on its own. And like, I'm not telling you guys to shoo and be overly nice, but I really do appreciate every single nice message everybody says. Okay, right now I'm getting my pens. I feel like every single creative endeavor has to be for your own well-being along with outside validation, right? Like, you can't have everything be so focused on outwards opinions. Like, it's still a portion of it, but it shouldn't be, like, everything to you. Okay. Chatters? Oh, wrong, wrong command. <laughs> you can sub to your gift or donate and I'll write your name. You can also use your channel points and I'll do it for free. So we had a handful of people today because Chad did buy me a pizza today. Thank you guys once again. Um, let's do Issa first. I want the colors to look nice on this page. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> it's a modeling command. Nice try. I mean, corn pizza wasn't that bad, honestly. It was actually kind of good. I'm gonna eat more once I end the stream. I spelled Issa wrong again. It's gotta have two eyes. Fuck me, dude. I mean, Issa said they don't care, so I think I'm saved. Gonna work on stream stuff? Nice. I wish you luck, Mac. I mean, if you like editing, hun, consider doing regular edits before streaming. See if you can build an audience through that. Because I've seen people pop off on TikTok, never stream a day, and then go live and have like 10 viewers on the first stream. You've heard corn pizza's bomb? It's pretty good. Because... When we tried it earlier, the corn kind of dried out, so it wasn't as juicy. So it was almost crispy. It's kind of good. Yeah, just... Because type one in chat if you found me on TikTok. I swear, everybody is from TikTok. Sorry, I'm on mobile. So we had Isadago with two gifted to the chat room. Oh, Potato, if you want that portrait, send me a picture on Twitter while you're still here before I forget. Because you forgot to last month. And we, we need more cards to make. This song is cool. This is a new playlist I found last night. Okay. 
Ooh, that stroke was cool. It kind of tapered here. Earthbound? Oh, okay. That's why I've never heard it. I've never played an Earthbound game. Okay, so we had not Mac with one gifted to the chat room. So I think either Saturday or Sunday, I'll do a bonus sub only stream where I'm gonna read the whole driver's manual. <laughs> It'll just be a stupid one. Oh, you don't have Twitter? Really? Um. Do you have an Instagram? If you have an Instagram, DM me on Instagram. You can... Because I think Twitter and Instagram are the only places I can take DMs. Because I blocked them on TikTok. Nope, damn. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I'll do it on Twitter then. <laughs> um, yeah, it's gonna be a funny stream. <laughs> So that's gonna be Saturday, so it might- it's probably gonna be tomorrow, but I'm not sure yet. Depends on if I- Cause like, I might have plans this weekend, but I'm not sure. If you have not Mac, this will be posted on Twitter later today. Go download both- okay! Okay, one more name chatter, it's the last name of the day. So if you want me to write your name, you can sub to your gift. Or, use your channel points and I'll write your name for free. Um, because I still have yet to read the driver's manual, and I tested it on Wednesday, and it cost me $40, so you know what, I'm not gonna throw, I, I actually have to pass. Because my goal is to get my license by September, which I think is doable. <laughs> Peace I do driving, oh no, like a manga steer but I crash. Dude, that'd be so scary. Okay, I always forget how long Potato's name is. Oh, look at that line. It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna make it fit. I'm gonna make it fit. Oh wait, there's no underscore here, is there? Fuck! End me. Sorry. I only ripped it out dramatically because there's only one name on this page, so it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, I'm okay. I got more sleep last night, so I'm fine. Have I ever driven a car? No, literally, I never, I've never even... There's been a few times where my dad has had me like start the car when he's like doing repairs on one. He's like, hey Megan, can you just like sit in the seat and start the car? Or can you just, like, turn the wheel as I push the car? And I get- I've only done that. It's so scary. Okay, yeah, let's try again. Reset. You know, I want it to be extra today. Guys, should I- should I play Fall Guys on two hours of sleep every week? Because I did kind of pop off yesterday, huh? Peace- or Meg winning, am I right? Should I go pro? Should Fall Guys become my main game instead of Mario Kart? Mario Kart fell off, not gonna lie. Don't think of it as scary, it just stresses you out more. I- I'm sure you know how anxiety works, but I can never differentiate being anxious from being scared. Because when stuff makes she makes me anxious, I spiral. And my parents have been in a fair share of accidents because of other people. And it's hard for me when I see all the pain and suffering they've gone through. I feel like, oh yeah, maybe I should drive too. I mean, it's something that I gotta get over, so. Best advice I've been given is when driving by parked cars, don't look at them, it just makes you more nervous. What? What? Huh? That makes no sense to me. 
What? Huh? <laughs> no, Mac, I know you're trying to be nice. It's just like... Driving is something that is going to take a lot of courage for me to get over and used to, but... I'll be able to do it. That's going to be the Meg strap playing while sleep deprived. I mean, honestly, if it works, why not, right? <laughs> Dude, I want more of that pizza. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> Just don't look at anything when driving. That's literally what I was going to say. But I was like, no, I have to be nice to Mac because they're being nice to me. <laughs> I can't troll too much. Oh, okay. I, I see. I see what you're saying, Mac. That's why I figured what you, that's what you meant. Because, like, if a parked car is there, its lights usually aren't on. <clears throat> Are you talking about, like, an authentic- 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 kick <laughs> authentic- kick Authentic. How do you say? Uh, authentic. How, how do I say authentic? I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Authentic. Authentic. Authentication code. Is that how you say it? I don't have the word in front of me. Just restarting it. Yeah. Oh no! You gotta call tech support. <laughs> authentic. <laughs> no, I- okay, I need to look at the word. I- I cannot. It's gonna fucking bother- Authentic- Hold. Authentic- Okay. Authentic- <laughs> Guys, I have a stutter. Authentic- <laughs> See, the, it's the N and the T next to each other. Authentic- See, I keep saying authentic. Authentic- Authentication. Authentication. I was adding an extra syllable. Authentication. 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 Okay. I got it now. I'm not gonna have a panic attack now. Okay. Back to it. Let's do it over here. We had potato. With five gifted. Your email won't work. Fuck. I hate that shit. Like, making a new account anywhere is annoying as all hell. But you have- You have two weeks to get it figured out, Potato, because we're doing that card stream on the 1st of September. Okay, then we also had a 500-bit cheer as well. Dude, honestly, you went kind of crazy today, Potato. Did you get paid or something? Wait, it is Friday. It is Friday, I forgot. Should I stream on Fridays more? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, whenever I got my paycheck, I never spent money right away. Because I've always kind of budgeted myself to where I would always have ample amount of money in my checking or my savings account. So, I've been blessed with the opportunity of not having major expenses in, in my, like, monthly bills. But I've never been like, oh, I need to wait till Friday to buy this because I have $10 in my checking account. Like, thankfully, I've never had that happen to me. But like I said, I, I've had- I'm pretty lucky with my current circumstances, but... If I want something, I'll just buy it. <laughs> Honestly, think you'd make bank? <laughs> I mean... The reason why it's bad to stream on Friday is because that's when, like, everybody else streams. Like, more people will stream on Fridays and weekends, concerning small streamers. Because that's when people have, like, time off, because those people have jobs. So, th usually viewership is worse on Fridays for me. That's why bonus streams we're doing on Fridays. Except for next week, because I have a doctor's appointment on Friday. Okay, chatters, last call. Once again, thank you to Issa, Mac, and Potato for your gifted subs and bits today. I appreciate it. Got me a pizza, so I'm fed for the rest of the day. Um, chatters, last call. If you want me to write your name, you can sub, cheer, gift, or hashtag sub for free with the prime. Or lastly, use your channel points. It's free. It's second free. Last call.
five, four. No, we're done. We're done. You're done. Okay. My camera's so low today. If someone subs, you'll look up at a clip. You know, you can do that right now, actually, Lemon. All you gotta do is check out this Twitch help article. Such a troll. Okay, hold. Oh. We have somebody to raid today. Okay, so chatters. Before I go... Thank you to everybody who came to the stream. Today was a bonus stream, so thank you to everybody who watched, chatted, and did help support me and buy that pizza. Thank you. Um, I will be live again on Monday. Not Tuesday, on Monday. Because we have another bonus stream, which is going to be finally, finally Switch Sports. So you guys are going to get to see how cracked the volleyball I am. Okay. I'm going to hone my inner haiku skills. And we're going to demolish everyone. So that'll be on Monday at probably 11 a.m. PST. So chatters, if you are following, make sure you have go like notifications and turn on. If you aren't following and you're here, what are you doing? You should drop a follow. It's literally free. Um. So, I will see you guys on Monday. Oh wait, we're doing the bonus stream either Saturday or Sunday. For subs only. So the way that sub only streams work is that if you are a subscriber currently, you'll get a notification for when I go live, and if you're a non-sub, you won't get a notif, but I'll still be I'll still be here on your like following channels. And but you can view the stream, you can still see chat. So if you want to see what we're doing, subscribe for free with Amazon Prime. See if you got a sub available, guys. It's free. It's free. Um Yeah, thank you for the raid message, Mac. Um So I'll do a bonus stream either Saturday or Sunday, and then the um, and then the bonus Switch Sports stream on Monday. So chatters, don't leave just yet. We are doing a raid today. But before the raid, make sure you're following me on offline social medias. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Go follow them, please. We're gonna read out to friend of the show, Downs. So if you could politely, if you are a sub, if you could copy and paste Peace Raid and type it in his chat room. And if you're not sub, if you could just type in his chat, peace raid. Stick around because you're gonna get extra bonus channel points if you stay on for the raid. Um, so Downs, I think he's playing Fortnite as usual. So all you little zoomers will love Fortnite. Um, he is an absolute delight. He's from the UK. He's got an accent. His laugh is literally contagious. He is a delight. So everybody, gentle reminder, I only read out to people I know, so please be nice to them. Be nice to the chat. I'll be in his chat for like five-ish minutes because I want to go eat that pizza. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys this weekend if you're a sub, and if not, we'll see you on Monday for that bonus sub go stream. Once again, the raid message is peace I two spin, peace raid, peace I two spin. Wait, I gotta actually do the raid command, Lamo. <laughs> there it is, okay. So chatters, I will see you guys soon. Okay. Bye, uh, remember, stay for the raid, you get channel points, you get channel points. <laughs>